Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. I'm here with Plugin Boutique. And today I'm gonna to show you how to liven up some hip hop vocals with a faux double up using Stereo Savage by Plugin Boutique. Check out this example I have here. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clipping, homie, I ain't stalling. Shots coming your way, I ain't talking about balling. Rooftop slapping, boy, coming, no warning. If you see me slipping, so I'm sure you could hear that it sounded like the vocalist did a second take where he doubled up the ends of the phrases. That's very common in hip hop, especially in a live performance setting and even in studio work. However, you can't always get that, especially if you get a sample pack or something like that and you only have the one vocal take. If you wanna add those double ups using Stereo Savage, it's easy and sounds realistic and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and just solo the vocals for a second so you can get a better understanding of what's happening. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clipping, homie, I ain't stalling. Shots coming your way, I ain't talking about balling. Rooftop sniping, boy, coming, no warning. So what I have here is a mono vocal take. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. There's a little bit of reverb and delay on the return tracks, but if I go ahead and knock those off. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. Completely mono track. If I actually go ahead and turn those off of that double up, let's go ahead and listen to those together. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clipping, homie, I ain't stalling. So it actually really sounds like you're do, you did a second take with the vocalist where he doubled up, and I think that's really great. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just one second. But before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and delete Stereo Savage from this channel and show you what it'd sound like if we weren't using Stereo Savage and we just did this sort of double up of the end of the phrase without Stereo Savage. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you you hear that? That's just like an increase in gain. It doesn't really add anything to the track. It, you'd be better off not doing it at all, but if we drop Stereo Savage back on the track with those same settings. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you We're getting great results. Let's check out how to do it. Gonna go ahead and delete Stereo Savage, drop a new instance on that track. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it as is. Uh, the mix is pretty fine. So let's check out how it sounds with the default settings here. And I want you to pay attention to the meter on the right. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. You can see that the graphic is right centered and that just is showing you that it's completely mono at the moment. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is add an effect and this is a vocal, so we're gonna leave it on the Vox, though there are some other effects that get some other really cool results, but for this particular one, Vox works because we're working on the vocals. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. So as you can see, it's already pushed it out to the sides and we're getting close to the effect we're looking for, but for these hip hop vocals, I think detuning it all the way up to 100 cents is the best way to go. Let's go ahead and check that out. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If so now it sounds like almost three vocal takes happened. The original full take and then a doubling up twice. And then we panned one version to the left and one version to the right. There's also this timing parameter right here, which we can make it really loose by going up to 100% or really tight by dropping it down to zero. So let's check out tight. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. So there's not really a lot of variation there. And if you've ever worked with a hip hop vocalist in the booth, it's very rare that it's really tight like that. So let's go all the way up to really loose and see what that sounds like. If you see me slipping, catch, catch me, me when I'm falling. If you and that's really loose. So I think a good place to be on these particular vocals for this particular track is somewhere between 60 and 70%. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clip. And we can add the width just a little bit more. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clipping, homie, I ain't stalling. Let's add a little bit of panning and rotation just to the opposite sides. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clipping, homie, I ain't stalling. Let's go ahead and listen to that in the context of the track now. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clipping, homie, I ain't stalling. Shots coming your way, I ain't talking about balling. We might bring down the uh, the level just a little bit to, so it sits better in the track and it's not really in your face. Again, the double up doesn't want to be really in your face. The main vocal wants to be front and center, while the double up is just kind of add a little bit of passion to the ends of those phrases. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clipping. Do you see how easy it was to get that effect with Stereo Savage? We literally turned on the effect, pumped up the detuned, adjusted the timing just a tad, 
and that's really all we did. If we want to take it a step further and get a little bit more variation and a little more humanizing effect, we can add an LFO to like the rotation or the panning or maybe even the level and the width just so it's not exactly the same. It's just adding a little bit more movement and a little bit more fluctuation to the actual takes themselves. And that way it sounds like a real vocalist instead of just being more robotic. Though the, with the timing set at 60%, there's already gonna be a bunch of movement in there. So this is just a little bit extra on top, like a little bit of icing on the cake. I'm gonna go ahead and sync it up and I'm gonna bring the rate pretty high up because I don't want it to be too apparent. I want it to be kind of slow and steady. So I'm gonna bring it up around two bars, turn the phase up just a tad and just a little bit on the amount and again, I'm not trying to like be like, this is an LFO. I'm just trying to add a little bit of movement to the, the rotation effect, just to add a little bit more character to the, the double up. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clipping, homie, I ain't stalling. Shots coming your way, I ain't talking about balling. So we're, we're pretty much there. Uh, if we wanted to take it just that little bit of extra step, just send a little bit of this vocal to the reverb and the delay. And I mean, we got a seriously good sounding double up hip hop style effect. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clipping, homie, I ain't stalling. Shots coming your way, I ain't talking about balling. Rooftop slapping, boy, coming, no warning. If you see me slipping, catch me when I'm falling. If you see me clipping, homie, I ain't stalling. Shots coming your way, I ain't talking about balling. Rooftop slapping, boy, coming, no warning. So that's what I wanted to show you today, how to quickly and easily get a realistic sounding hip hop double up for your mono vocal take. Just imagine what you could do with a little bit more time and a little bit more creativity. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.